Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're going to talk about using weld before you extrude geometry. Okay, so before we go any further, I use the term extrude in the introduction to kind of cover both push-pull and follow me because there is call for using weld specifically with those two commands, but I didn't want to say using weld before using push-pull or follow me because it's just too many words. So I used extrude to kind of group those two together. There's not an extrude command in SketchUp. Um, so we're going to take a look at why you might do that and why it might be a time saver for you depending on your model. Let's hop in. Okay, so first thing here, I got I got this kind of amoeba e shape uh, that I drew. It's just a bunch of arcs that I, I put together. So I come in here and I hit select and I just pick on some of these. You can see arc, arc, arc. Um, a bunch of arcs connected together at tangent to make this smooth shape. Pretty simple. If I grab push pull and I pull it up, look what I get. So every place these arcs meet, anytime there's two arcs coming together, I have that hard line where they meet. Right, so the, the edge of the actual arc is, is all smooth and then anytime they meet together. So users of SketchUp, of course, know they come in here with my eraser, hold on my modifier key to smooth, and I could actually go through and get rid of those lines. Alternatively, I could triple click. I could come over here, click soft and smooth, toggle soft and smooth off and back on again and get rid of them all at once. And that gives me one smooth surface all the way around. I'm gonna undo that because we're gonna look at a different way to do it. So if I come in here before push pulling and I double click on the surface that highlights the surface and all the edges and I can right click on the surface and I can say weld edges. Weld edges is going to weld any and all edges that meet together on the surface and make them one line. So what that means is this may just, just this is one polyline, one line if I click on this can call it a curve, one curve all the way around everything. At this point, if I push pull, see it pulls up all smooth edges. So from the beginning, this is now one surface, uh, like this was one curve. So a little bit of a time saver, depending on the size of the model or the shape that you're pushing or pulling up, uh, your call. Now, uh, this next, next example is maybe a tale of caution. So here, this, this doesn't just necessarily happen with curves. I do this a lot when I'm maybe drawing a footprint of a house or something like that where lines intersect lines, I don't necessarily clean everything up. If I come in and push pull this shape right now, you can see I have a couple spots where I have these extra lines in here. There are situations in architectural modeling where this might be good. Maybe this is where a window or a door goes, or I have an intersection happening here and I wanna hold on to these lines, that's fine. By having these lines as separate pieces in your original uh, drawing on the floor, when you pull it up, it will honor that and keep it separate. So it's not a bad thing that it's doing that. It's actually paying attention to the geometry you created and doing kind of what you're telling it to. If I come look at this, I can clean that up. If I don't actually want those breaks there, I can double click and do the same thing. I can hit weld, but watch what happens when I push pull that up now. It welded my 90 degree angles too. So if I click this right here, this whole thing is a single curve now with the, the lines meeting at 90 degrees. Not ideal. I'm going to undo twice to get rid of that. So you could come in, this is an option if you wanted to, you could go find where those locations are that those meet, right click, and then weld just those pieces. So if I was to push pull this up now, it's one, one piece there. I still have separate pieces over here though. I'm going to undo that. To make it easier to actually see where lines are broken, you may want to go into your styles, go to edges, and turn on endpoints. Endpoints just gives you this little, little, little dot where lines end. So if I do have to come in and do this kind of cleanup, I can come in and with select, grab it, right click it, and then from there, I can go ahead and I can, uh, that one's cleaned up. I can go ahead, grab those, right click, weld edges, and then when I do that, it comes up as one. So one of the things you noticed, see how that it still shows it like it's separate pieces right here, but it's welded. There's actually two different, if I'm gonna undo, and I'm gonna zoom in here and undo again, see the change in that little dot right there? The end point changes for a welded edge versus a, I grab those all again, right click, and then weld edges, 
I get that small one versus the larger endpoints right here. So this is still separate pieces. Um, this one is, it's separate pieces welded together into a curve. It doesn't make it into a new line, even if they're straight like this. If you do want a new line, then you can always just, you know, I guess, redraw that line to get that back. Otherwise, welding into a curve will, in this specific case, give you the same final uh, geometry as redrawing that line would. All right, I'm gonna turn endpoints off because they distract me. Okay, so now I got, uh, we covered push-pull, let's talk about follow me. I have a series of curves, straight lines, got a vertical curve here and a straight line. And I want, I want my piece or my, my shape to follow all this. So I'm gonna triple click <clears throat> to grab it. I'm going to hit follow me, grab this, and here's what happens. Again, people using SketchUp a lot know that I triple click that and then I toggle soft and smooth and I get that continuous look. That's that's kind of what it, what we're used to. If I use weld beforehand though, I'm going to do another grab it all, right click, weld edges. This now becomes a single curve. So if I grab that, hit follow me, I get that well, the geometry all the way from the beginning. Now you may not want that. You may have breaks in your, in your maybe this is a separate piece than this is and uh, that sort of thing. That's fine. You don't have to do this, but if this is gonna end up being one piece, if this is supposed to be a, a cable or something like that, this saves you the time of having to go through and smooth it out. Uh, it's not a huge time saver, but uh, with smooth, you might be more selective. Welding ahead of time also assures that, you know, if you wanna reuse this path, um, I can use it as a single piece later on. I don't have to worry about missing and losing an edge or anything like that. This works just like a, you know, the double-edged sword that we had over here with push-pull. This does work on 90 degree geometry as well. So right here, if I wanna follow this again, follow me, I get these nice breaks. In this case, maybe this is exactly what I want. Over here, if I grab this, I can weld it. And then if I do follow me, I get corners that get cleaned up automatically. So again, I, it's, I'm not telling you how to model. I don't know what you want out of your model. You guys know that. But these are some options. By welding first, uh, I can control what kind of geometry comes out after I do that extrude command. And again, not the extrude command, but the command in SketchUp that allows you to extrude geometry such as push, pull, or follow me. That's what I was going for there. Hopefully that helped somebody out there. I know somebody, somebody somewhere was looking for that, and that is just for you. Let me know if that was you down in the comments. And if you like this video, click like down below. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. And like I said, comments help us make videos that you want to see. And if we're doing it for you and it's like, oh, that was helpful, that helps us to know that we're doing the right thing. We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.